On today's Ravens Rundown video by Chat Sports, we are taking a look at one of the Ravens' day three draft picks, namely Sean Wade, the, I'm going to call him, defensive back out of Ohio State. He was a fifth-round pick this year by the Ravens, part of a unfortunate for all parties involved slide from where he was viewed entering the 2020 season. Now, Sean Wade, as we'll get into... Uh, the, the media gave him uh, uh, high praise. In reality, he was not good in 2020. He struggled mightily. However, he did fare very well as a nickel corner in 2019, and it would appear that's the path he's going to be as a member of the Baltimore Ravens. In 2020, in only eight games played, Sean Wade was the only FBS player to allow 30-plus completions at a nearly 64% rate, 500-plus receiving yards, that's 563 to be exact, six or more touchdowns. And despite having literally the worst season among all FBS corners, Sean Wade was a first-team All-American in the Big, uh, Big Ten Defensive Back of the Year, which goes to show the people in the media for college football literally don't pay attention. They just go by name, brand, and recognition he went from a potential first round pick to a day three guy because I thought in 2019 Sean Wade actually showed some good things I, I, I thought he had some showed a lot of promise ability all all of those promising traits as a nickel corner unfortunately that did not translate when he moved to the outside cornerback spot in 2020 so the Wade we're going to see for the Ravens who knows which one it's going to be? Now, he battled through a turf toe injury. That was a factor. He looked just not confident, sluggish, and slow. But if the Ravens can get 2019 Sean Wade, that's very intriguing. And here's what Ravens GM Eric DaCosta had to say. Sean Wade, nickel corner, a slot corner two years ago, really excelled as one of the best corners in football. Excited to get him. He's played a lot of good football in a very good conference. So I think in reality, the early role for Sean Wade will probably be as a nickel corner. Now, unless Tavon, Tavon Young gets hurt again, which eh, could happen, I would venture to say you don't see that much Sean Wade out there in his, in his first year, especially given the presence of other, really a stacked cornerback room with Marcus Peters and Jimmy Smith and you know former early day three picks, Amon Marshall and Anthony Averett as well. And... Really a good safety room, which I think Sean Wade could also end up playing. So I like the pick of Sean Wade. I'm not sure the instant impact's going to come, though, given the presence of other guys. And what we saw last year out of Sean Wade, I think at some level his confidence kind of has to be rebuilt. So with all that in mind, grade the pick for me of Sean Wade. Well, again, it was a mid to late day three pick. It's tough to mess those ones up. And the upside absolutely made it worth or made it worth taking. So grade it for me. A, B, C, D, or F. Grade that pick of Sean Wade in the comment section. For me, I mean, I'm going to give it at least a B. I think at minimum, it was a solid upside gamble by the Baltimore Ravens in the 2021 NFL Draft.